Hi everyone, it's Tammy. I wanted to welcome you to just a meditation. Uh, we have started in uh, in church worship, and that's been lovely. But I realize that some of you aren't able to come. And sorry for the swatting. There's a few mosquitoes and black flies back here. Um, and to be honest, I'm not dressed appropriately for Sunday. I don't have my fancy flannel shirt on. But I hadn't planned on recording this, but it was too good to leave. Uh, so I may not be as well-spoken as normal. Anyways, um, tomorrow, I mean, uh, Sunday, uh, today's Friday. On Sunday, uh, we celebrate Worldwide Communion Sunday. And as I've been out exploring today, uh, I have been thinking a lot about the sermon. It's my sermon prep time to be out in the woods. And um, one of the things that occurred to me is what a wonderful communion table this stump is. Um, it's obviously been cut down at some point, but it's hollowed out. And in the background, you can see my communion elements. Uh, my my water jug, after all, Jesus turned water into wine, and my energy bar, uh, I think it's uh, chewy peanut butter, as my communion elements. Um, I always carry those elements with me uh, when I go out exploring, because you never know when you're going to need a little extra strength or energy or get stuck somewhere. And um, in some sense, that's how I look at communion it is, it is just a tiny morsel we take, just a little sip, but it is that which sustains us through so much of our lives and all that we have going on in our lives. Um, I wasn't planning on sharing this, but some of you will get this. For others, please forgive me. Uh, my sister-in-law, Madge, sent me this card. I remember how hard it was in the beginning, especially to find toilet paper. I'm going to censor it just a little, but on the inside it says sometimes they're just not not a roll big enough for all the stuff you're going through. It loses a little in the translation, but I think you can figure that out. And I, I got, picked that up before I uh, went out on my adventure, and I thought, isn't that the truth? You know that that yeah, they're not, there isn't a rule big enough for what we're dealing with at times. Um, and yet when we come to communion, it is the time that we're reminded that God and Spirit and Jesus bring us through these things, um, that they're big enough. I sometimes forget that. Um, but I did want to just say a few things about Worldwide Communion Sunday. I mean, we gather... Um, there are what I had to write it down. There are 38 traditions that the different denominations and such that celebrate communion. Um, and I love that imagery that around the world, meeting at different times in different parts of life, that people are gathering with all these different languages and celebrating communion together. For some of them, it is the actual blood and body of Christ. For others, it is simply the symbolic uh, act that this is the, the cup of life and the bread that nurtures us through the big stuff and the little stuff in this life. So I, I just think about um, it's the one thing that draws us together. And I did choose a little scripture. I had to go by memory because I was like, uh... I'm, I didn't bring my Bible with me, so I wrote down from memory, Ephesians 4, 4 through 6. You are one body and one spirit, just as God called you in one hope. There is one God of all, who is over all, through all, and in all. You are one body. You are one spirit. Just as God called you in one hope, there is one God of all, who is over all, through all, and in all. 
Creator is with us, sustaining us, nurturing us, challenging us, comforting us. And with that, um, this is a very simple service. Um, and for the locals here, it might be interesting to see if you can guess where I am. I'm not giving you many clues. I'm actually at a campsite. And there's nobody here. And yes, Martha, I have my bear spray with me. But it's a very quiet place. Um, and I thought it would be marked where I am. I just took a forest road. Uh, it's an active forest road. So uh, it was actually fairly well maintained. And then I took a side road off of that. And it's one of the provincial recreation areas. So I give thanks for this place, for the nurturing that nature gives us, and that God is with us through all of this. And I could do without the bugs being with me, but I guess they're God's creatures too, so God bless them. Um, thanks for joining me. It, it's nice. I will try to do these every week. Um, no promises, but as I'm inspired, I will certainly share with you. Thank you. Blessings. Bye.